Hey, is Frankie boy actually Italian? Let's find out. And for those of you guys saying, Oh, the government has your DNA now. What are they going to do with it? Guys, if the government really wanted your DNA, they would have taken it when you were born in the hospital. Like, like, you guys come up with the weirdest stuff, but anyway, the government would already have had my DNA, so no worries about that. And I actually got free testing like 10 years ago when they were doing this promotion. I think it was called Genes for Good. And then I decided to do it again the second time with 23andMe because I was just curious. And they give you like obviously the breakdown of you know what percent this are you, what percent that are you, but then there's also some kind of nuanced weird stuff that they try to tell you which some of it's true, some of it isn't true, but who knows. So this test says I am 94% European, mostly Southern Italian, and then the other 6% is West Asian and North African, but it actually says it's West Asian, which means like Middle Eastern. So the test I got from Genes for Good told me I was like 65% European and 35% North African. So Maybe I need to get a test with one or two or three more companies to know for sure, but my parents have always told me I'm Italian, so how accurate are these tests? Are they throwing stuff in there? Who really knows? Point is, I'm mostly Italian. And they do like a health predisposition thing where they tell you what issues what health problems you're vulnerable to but I'm guessing that's them just assuming okay this person's from this area how well do they tolerate a stands in American diet these modern crappy seed oils I wouldn't really take anything from it and when people believe that they're gonna get sick because their family got sick or environmental factors or this or that that's kind of like a defeatist attitude and that's not the real smart way to analyze it or understand it so this was the the kind of Cool stuff. This was the traits they say. So, asparagus odor detection likely can smell asparagus. Back hair likely little upper back hair. Bald spot likely no bald spot. Bitter taste likely can't taste. Why well, I, I can taste bitter? So, that seems weird that someone wouldn't be able to. Bunions less likely than average to have a bunion. Cheek dimples likely no dimples. Well, I have one, so maybe they're half correct. Cilantro taste aversion, slightly higher odds of disliking cilantro. Cleft chin, likely no cleft chin. Dandruff, more likely to get dandruff. Earlobe type, likely detached earlobes. Early hair loss, likely no hair loss. Earwax type, likely wet earwax. Oh, that's lovely. Eye color, likely brown or hazel eyes. Fear of heights, less likely than average to be afraid of heights. Uh, I'm pretty afraid of heights. I don't like being on tall buildings or ladders or anything, but I'll still do it. Fear of public speaking, less likely to have a fear of public speaking. Finger length ratio, likely ring finger longer. That has to do with your, uh, your gender, not really your uh, ancestry. Flat feet, less likely than average to have flat feet. Freckles, likely a lot of freckles. Well, I don't have any freckles. Hair photo bleaching, more likely to experience hair photo bleaching. I don't even know what that is. Hair texture, likely straight or wavy. Well, my hair's curly. Hair thickness, less likely to have thick hair. I have curly hair. I wonder if they messed up and, and mixed up my DNA with someone else. Ice cream flavor preference, about a 50-50 chance of preferring vanilla or chocolate ice cream. <laughs> This is the stupidest. This is so stupid. Vanilla and chocolate are the most popular flavors. That's like what everyone likes. How is, how is, oh my God. Someone, so, they probably got like some intern nerd to just make stuff up. Oh my God. Light or dark hair. Likely light. Well, my hair's dark. Misophonia. Less likely to hate chewing sounds. <laughs> Mosquito bite frequency. Likely bitten as often as <laughs> Oh, this is great. This is great. I'm remembering this is why I wanted to make this video because this stuff is so stupid. Motion sickness. More likely to experience motion sickness. Well, I don't like going on rides and I get nauseous. Newborn hair. Likely little baby hair. 
photic sneeze re reflex. Likely no photic sneeze reflex. I'm not sure what that is. I think that's when your eyes are exposed to the sun or light, and I do have that. So, uh, like if I wake up in the morning and I look at the sun or I turn on a bright computer, I will actually sneeze. You guys can look that up. It's pretty interesting. Red hair, likely no red hair. Skin pigmentation, likely lighter skin, definitely not. Stretch marks, less likely to have stretch marks. I actually get really bad stretch marks uh, from the bodybuilding stuff. They never, they never get fixed. Sweet versus salty, likely prefers salty. Toe length ratio. <laughs> They got some weird. Uh, they got some weird freaks over at uh, 23andMe. What's the deal? Some feet boys, feet fetish boys. Unibrow likely at least a little unibrow. Wake up time likely to wake up around 8:39 a.m. Who comes up with serious? Oh, this guy looks like he wakes up at 8:39 a.m. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I've woken up at 8:39 a.m. one day in my life. <laughs> this is great, fantastic. Widow's Peak likely no Widow's Peak. I guess I have a little bit. Alcohol flush reaction, unlikely to flush. Caffeine consumption, likely to consume less. Deep sleep, less likely to be a deep sleeper. Genetic weight, predisposed to weigh less than average. That's pretty easy to say for Italians because Italians are uh, more tolerant of carbohydrate intake because they've been eating a lot of pasta more and they, they're better on the standard American diets than the average person. Lactose intolerance, likely intolerant. That has more to do with your gut bacteria profile and um, how healthy your liver is. Anyone can tolerate dairy if they're healthy enough. Muscle composition, uncommon in elite power athletes. Well, I guess I'm not an elite power athlete. Saturated fat and weight, likely to weigh more on a high saturated fat diet. Sleep movement, likely average or less movement. So they actually do, um, in addition to like the diseases that you're predisposed to and what they're trying to guess, they actually look at the genetic variants in your DNA, what you have. So hereditary hemochromatosis, it says I have a variant detected, but not likely at increased risk. And as you guys know, I did have some issues with iron overload on the carnivore diet and my liver was storing iron. So this does make some sense that there is some gene variant for hemochromatosis. Everything else, they said no variance detected. So age-related eye degeneration, but that's, you know, again, this stuff is mostly environment-related, not actually gene-related. Celiac disease, variance not detected. Chronic kidney disease, variance not detected. Familial hypercholesterolemia, variance not detected. Uh, type 2 diabetes, typical likelihood. So. As I said earlier, I think they're just choosing based on where you're from, how those people typically tolerate modern diets, what you're likely going to get. And for them to say that I don't have hypercholesterolemia yet when I was on carnivore, my cholesterol was out of control through the roof. They're saying that I'm likely to get type two diabetes, but I mean, who isn't on the current modern standards in American diets? And the big thing to keep in mind with these like celiac disease, kidney disease, your DNA and your genes can change depending on your environment, the foods you eat, who you interact with. There's a lot that goes into it that they understand, these people understand that they would never reveal to the general public because they don't want people to be healthy. So I thought this was kind of cool and kind of interesting. If you guys are ever you know, wondering where you're from, you want to check out 100% sure. These tests aren't too expensive. Bro, what, what's the government going to do with your your saliva like are they gonna play with themselves with it like who cares who cares dude who cares who cares as long as you're not letting them put anything in your body I think you'll be fine but thank you guys for joining me today uh, again this was 23andMe I think there's Ancestry.com too and there's maybe some other ones but uh, I don't think these are accurate <laughs> I mean they got a bunch of comedians working there and I've gotten two different completely different percentage ratios from two different tests yeah it's they say I'm mostly Italian, but how accurate is this stuff? Do they actually know what they're doing? Is it like a lower end piece of equipment? Is there some more expensive stuff they could be using that'll actually be accurate? Who knows? If you guys want to support me, you can check out frank to view all of my businesses. Lots of exciting stuff going on every week, guys. New products coming in. But outside of that, if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. 
and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thank you.